Hey everyone, this is Christian with Living Able, the place where we come together as a quote-unquote disabled community and learn how to become more independent as well as tackle different disability issues. Today we are going to talk about Speechless. I introduced you guys to the upcoming series about six weeks ago. There's been five episodes, so I want to talk to you about just how realistic is the show. A lot of times when a movie or TV show comes out, it's very unrealistic or they make the person with a disability just like the superhero, that kind of thing. And thankfully, that has not been the case with Speechless so far. Uh, the mother is so funny. She's it's played by Maya is played by Mini Driver and she is just a fighter for her son which I love. She wants nothing more than her son to have a voice and her son to have just as normal of a childhood as possible which is kind of funny because her idea of normal and our idea of normal could be a little bit different because she's definitely like overbearing and I'm hoping to see that JJ will kind of push away from his mother as time goes on and learn to be more independent without him kind of cut the cu cut that cord a little bit. But he is in high school, so, you know, it's still important uh, that his mom helps him as well. There's a couple of things that I don't particularly like, which I will get into. But first, let's talk about uh, some of the things that I love about this show. JJ is showing that he is a normal teenager. He does normal teenager things. He's super funny. He's very spunky. It, I think that if I was definitely nonverbal, I'd probably be a lot like him in the sense that, you know, he has to have somebody that reads from the board and speaks for him. And <laughs> he says some of the craziest things, knowing these people are going to have to read, read for him and be his voice. And <laughs> it's just really funny, you know, when he tells somebody to, you know, go go away, you know, that kind of thing. And, and just really inappropriate things that he says, which most teenagers do. Most teenagers are mouthy and, you know, mouth off at different times. So I love that. I love to see the reactions of <laughs> the aid in the first episode was so funny how she just wanted to get fired because she was just so over uh, having to say these things that he uh, wanted her to say. So that was hilarious. I like in the last episode, they actually had JJ, more spoiler alerts, get drunk, which obviously I don't condone underage drinking, but what I liked about it is it showed that JJ was able to be very, he was very smart he was able to do things that normal teenagers do he 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 was smart enough to be able to manipulate the situation to get his caretaker Kenny to go away so that he could get drunk and he did this and like the caretaker like did not know until like the very end and he was slurring his words like what was going on so i liked that they showed that he was smart, uh, and he could do that kind of situation. It's just not like this old, poor, pitiful person that just doesn't do anything wrong. Because I remember a time when I was in high school, this guy said something inappropriate to me, right? And so I did hit him. I did smack him. I just, you know, get out, get away. And the teacher was of the mindset that I could do no wrong. And, you know, didn't believe the kid when the kid said, she hit me. You know, and it's, like, ridiculous. So I like the fact that they're showing him kind of just as a normal teenager getting away with that kind of stuff. I uh, also liked the fact that in the uh, Inspirations episode, <laughs> Kenny let him drive the car. You know, obviously he wasn't very good at it, but I'm hoping that since even he could do it that bad with, I guess, no adaptations, that maybe down the line they'll show him actually 
being able to drive a different vehicle with the appropriate uh, adaptations for him. So I'm hoping that that's a setup for that. Uh, I didn't really care for the Inspirations episode because I'm not one that likes to be treated special. But also, as a teenager, maybe I was different. I don't remember being different, but maybe I would have been, especially if it was something big that I wanted, like getting into a professional baseball game or something. Who knows? I don't know. So I didn't really care for that. Didn't like that the A lived it up, but I, at the same time, I don't really blame him because lots of people say, oh, if I could get this, I would totally live it up. That's what most people think. So... That was probably my least favorite of the episodes. Uh, I liked the, the Halloween one, the last one here, where he, the kid, all three of the kids decided they didn't want to do something with their parents, like had been tradition. So they all got to go to their separate parties and do their thing. And as we already discussed, JJ got drunk. So I love that. I sometimes think this show takes on too much at, like, one time. Uh, I don't really know how to, like, explain it because I think that they will just tackle too many issues in an episode. And I'm kind of wondering what somebody that isn't necessarily familiar with disability would think about it if they would just be so overwhelmed that they're just like, I don't know, there's so much going on here. I don't want to you know, watch the show or deal with it at all. Or maybe I'm just looking at it as it's too much because it's my life, it's what I deal with all the time, and I'm not wanting to, like, push so much on people at one time. I'm kind of the person, like, let's tackle one issue at a time and not push everything on. Another thing that I wasn't so sure about was the episode where his sister is a runner, but basically she decided that she only runs because her brother can't. And I don't know how I feel about that. You know, I should, I don't know, I kind of want to ask my sister, maybe she's watching this, who knows, uh, if there was a time that she felt like she did something because I couldn't do. Uh, that might be a struggle that some uh, siblings go through, I'm sure. it's It's got to be in some way at some time, and I didn't like how she had it, and then like her whole entire team wasn't running because they wanted to run. You know, maybe I'm missing something there, but I don't like the implications that just because your sibling is disabled or that you're always doing something because of different motives or whatever. So I didn't like that. Uh, I liked the... I liked how they talk about like how they're willing to tackle different things. I like how when he got the new aide, Kenny, how he said, you know, let me ask you questions. And he attacked the the sex thing, you know, right away. Do, does your guy parts work? And that's very realistic. Very realistic. Like, I mean, that is like the number one question that everybody always asks me. So I did like that. Again, this show has been really cool, very real, and I hope it continues to be real. I hope to see JJ kind of break away from his mother and be more thinking for himself and not just coddling her and her, you know, overbearingness, you know, because he doesn't want to hurt her feelings. Uh, I'm also hoping that they explore more of the the guilt thing, I don't, there was uh, the paintball episode, <laughs> the like whole family was like thinking that they do everything because they're guilt, they feel guilty, and I didn't really like that either, but I mean, hey, it could be true too, I know parents have got to go through a lot when you find out your kid is going to be disabled, like, could I have done something different, and so I know that's very real, so we'll definitely see where this goes, but I love this show, so I certainly hope that you'll watch it. If you can't watch it on Wednesday nights on ABC, it's at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. You can also watch it online at abc.com uh, if you're in the United States. I know a couple of you have contacted me 
that are outside of the United States, you know, and you can't watch it. I, it, it sucks. I really wish you could. But, uh, this video is already 10 minutes long. I don't want to keep it going. But, I hope you guys will continue to watch it. Let me know down in the comments below how it's going, what you think, you know, what do you think about this whole episode, sir? Let me know. Alright, you guys have a great day.